Good morning, everybody. Look at all these guys standing, smiling. Come on, show that smile for math. I mean, some people think math wouldn't work and they get frowny when they are doing math. But come and look at this crazy bunch. They are, look at them even laughing with math. Hi, my name is Professor Emenike Ukazim. I'm here at Montgomery County Community College in Bluebell, Pennsylvania. If you even need the zip code, it's PA19422. Come on, give me a cheer for that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you thought I wouldn't remember the zip code. <laughs> so we are here, and we are very grateful that to be given an award, a special award from NISOD. So I'm just saying, my class, I hope you are enjoying it, right? Enjoying the math, and you better enjoy the math because your grade will depend on you enjoying <laughs> math, all right? So thank you again. Can we just give a big cheer for Montgomery County Community College? Go! Woo! Go, Marco! And also for mathematics. You know, encourage people to do math. So how about showing your faces, your smiles, and your shouting for math. Come on, everybody, go. Math. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> Hi, good morning, everyone, and welcome to what? What class is this? Math. You don't even remember the class. Can you believe that? This is Math 162, Precalculus 2. Isn't that great that you already there, man? And uh, my name is Emenike Ukazim. Try saying that. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> um, I want to look at this problem. You know, I mean, you, you could look at it. Do you have an idea what we are supposed to do here, anybody at all? Solve for X. Solid for you so oh, yeah, SFX. That's what it means? Okay, suppose we actually want to start off. What should be our best move? Somebody take a move now. Yes, sir, your hand went up. Go ahead. Take the log of each side. What type of log? Uh, log base 10. Base 10? Uh, do we all agree with that? Yeah, I yes. think that's a fair start. Then we could say log 5 raised to the power x minus 2 equals log what? 3 raised to the power 3x minus 2. Yep. yep. That looks cool. So what do we do next? Anybody? I need to hear from you. Yes, sister? You bring that x minus 2. Oh, yeah. You're using one of the properties of log. Okay. We would say x uh, minus 2 here, and then log 5 equals. What about the other side? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Log 3. Does anybody remember the rule that helped us do this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Something lo like log 8 to the power what? X, X okay, equals what? X what? Were you speaking like you have water in your mouth? Like what? Ah, oh, that sounds good. X log A. All right, so that's what we're using. Now, what do we do next? Anybody? I'm going back to blue now. What's our next move? We can distribute and have X log 5. Why are we doing that? Does anybody have an idea why we would need to distribute? Why? So that eventually what would happen? We do a CLT. We will then combine all the like terms. Everything that has an X will show up somewhere, and the other guys will push away to another side. Does anybody want to do that for us, please? Can I say X here? Just skip some lines so you don't fall asleep on me. Minus 5, minus. Help me out. What would be the next one? 3. 3 log 3 equals. This is where you show off. 
Two log five. Woo! Go ahead. Minus two log, two log three. That's cool. All right, what do we do with this? Uh, then we could say x equals. Somebody get us there now. Two log five minus two log three. Log five minus two log three. All over. Oh, yeah, all over. Can I put this in parentheses so they don't run away from, you know what I mean? Uh, log five minus three log three. What else? Parentheses too, right? Can you put this in your calculator and let's see what would happen? Please, hurry up. Don't forget to put your parentheses around where parentheses should go. Math majors, I can look at their faces, man. Yeah, that's cool. And you can put this at once using your TI-84, TI-83. Uh, in those days when we went to school, there was no TI anything. You had to do this using logbook and everything. Now you just push buttons and it goes. That's why some of you sleep a lot. No, do you? Mm -hmm. Or stay up. So uh, do we have an answer? Anybody, please? X equals negative point six zero six. Negative point six six zero six. six. Confirmed? Yes. Yeah. I think sometimes I really want to know if this is true. Can we check it? Check. All right, we can go to the calculator and put the function, the very first one. What is it? What's the very first function? Five raised to the power? X minus two. X minus two. X minus two. Is that right? Now we're about to see if they are. What do I do next? Put the other one in Y2, that's correct. What should I put there? Three, three raised to the power. Three what? Three raised to the power, three X minus two. Okay, three X minus two. Question, how would we know if everything is okay? If, they are, if the number we came up with is right? The two lines will intersect and we can find the intersection. That's possibility if we grab them. What else? We are now about to check our answer to see if the two, if the value of x would work for us, the value that we came up with. What would need to happen here so we will agree with that? Right? When we go to second, Table. second what, please? Table. Table. Okay. And then we're going to give him the value. What was the value we came up with? Can you give me a little bit more decimal places, please? Minus 0. Uh, negative 0. 0.606. 606. That's it? Mm -hmm. No other decimals? Two. What do I have? It didn't 6058. That's what I mean. <laughs> so just to be sure, 58. One eight five eight one eight two what two four zero nine. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, how can you read her calculator from there? Can you correct that? Can you look at it? Okay, go ahead, read it off. Two four zero nine. That's good, man. You got good sight. Uh, watch out. I mean, you know, during the <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what would happen. Whoa! What do you think, guys? Two equal numbers. Since the two are equal, we will agree that the x we came up with should be exact. You guys, maybe watch out. You will soon become math majors. <laughs> You know what I mean? So that's good. All right. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Besteki. Praise Vicky. She is the one who I heard recommended me for this. And also to thank the president of Montgomery County Community College, Dr. Karen Stout. This is an incredible place to work. 
And I'm also very grateful to you students, I think, yeah. Some of you, I think you are students, uh, for all you've done. In fact, uh, you're a great class to have. I wish others would experience the same thing, okay? It's been great. And whom else am I forgetting to thank? I want to thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity to, to really get an award like this. And also to thank the National Institute for Staff and Organizational Development. I had to read it just to make sure I got it right. That's the NISOD for considering me and giving me the award. Let them keep up the good work. Thank you all very much, everyone. Thank you.